you know, if he if he'd done a crime in Texas and they had him locked up, maybe mm-hmm. Colorado could be like, hey, we we want him when you're done. But the idea of sending Texas to go lock him up or invading Texas and locking him up there, they don't have the they can't do that. Know. I know. I know you're something I'm stuck know, on. Like one of the ways that Bonnie and Clyde avoided getting caught for as long as they did is they would commit crimes in like there's a part of America where there's like five different states all kind of close mm-hmm. to each other. And they would just stay near the borders and they like commit some crimes in Nebraska and head over to Kansas, commit some crimes in Kansas and then drop down to Oklahoma and just start like changing states all the time. Mm-hmm. And the it's police like a, would literally like get to the state line like Dukes of Hazards. I was just gonna like, say ah, that. Shot you. <laughs> you got away. Okay, Roscoe so well. Pete Train has to stop. <laughs> and if you think about it, like, like I bet it was as much from like we're out of our jurisdiction as it was from we're done now. We don't we don't have to chase them anymore because the people you're chasing are oh, are murderers, right? Like, like yeah. maybe mm. maybe on your ten dollar a week job or whatever they were getting paid month job, you don't want to run it off into Kansas and fight Bonnie and Clyde. I know I know that she ran around with a uh, like a what was it a bar Tommy gun. I, she had a B- Browning automatic rifle, a fully automatic thirty out six sawed off. <laughs> Good so, it, so if she hits you, you die. If she hits yeah. your arm, it got you lose your arm. If you if, if you hit the bone, you lose that limb. Like, um, hmm. I don't I don't Great. think I, uh, for some reason sure it's true. It baffles me that today we still don't extradite people from yeah, state to state. Weird. Like, state, I, I can some see how maybe weird. if it's a traffic crime, then I can see why they wouldn't, but. These are some serious crimes. You know, Canada, you always hear like, like wanted. I'm wanted in two states. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because Canada, they, we extradite people all the time, right? Down yeah, to the we, we, we're not too, uh, you know, that's kind of a third world country yeah. these days. We, we're, <laughs> some, yeah, <laughs> some, uh, uh, we seize bank accounts if we don't like. We, I, I, There's some countries that like there. that won't extradite at all. Yeah. So mm-hmm. you can like flee there and then they mm-hmm. won't send you back. But they're like they're not G seven or they're not G twenty countries. They're yeah, like they're you usually know, a downgrade like, though. It always is, but it's well, every country is a downgrade from America. I do get well. It. Okay, true don't go crazy. But... Yes, <laughs> <it's> true. <laughs> Canada is a nice second place. Nothing wrong oh. with silver. Nothing wrong with silver. <laughs> yeah, silver. Yeah, but but Forget okay. Your last. At what Olympic sport? Well, Hockey, Canada, Canada is the no. He meant second country. place when the country. Yeah, when thing. you take yeah, all the I countries know. into account, I, I would say Canada, Canada is my second favorite. Look, you, look, I, I used to say you, you think they're making it, it to the podium know. is ridiculous. <laughs> okay? Canada's not my second favorite because I'm really sensitive to early sunsets and they're way up north and uh, cold weather. They're not yeah, but favorite. they're friendly. It's it's they got everybody's into hockey. I could talk to people about hockey in public. It'd be well, like I'm not saying there aren't gay people. There's gay people. No, hockey's the least those? gay sport. All the other sports are having gay. Oh, hockey's the least <laughs> gay sport. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they fuck every each other Nordic as part country. of the hazing ritual. <laughs> like, like, I don't like think so. Every, oh, not any, not any more than football player. Oh god, <laughs> we're already trickle truthing on this. Right. Where's, where's Harley when I eat him? Dude, that's how I, that's how I made my best team. It was the final In California test. where he chooses to live for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay. because he it's loves okay. the us of a i i well, would choose any nordic country i would choose um like like most of the european countries uh, like like france just seems so snooty but i bet if you if you're not in fucking paris you don't like, speak like, languages oh how hard could it be like, like how hard like, could learning norwegian listen, be? Hold on, hold on. if you <laughs> live in norway i think it, i'll pick it up in a year or so like, oh like, yeah when you're out about about town and your little norwegian uh, ice little, village a little village yeah oh, hello. Go, uh, <laughs> yeah, they're gonna be they're gonna, you know, you imagine, you'd live there for 10 years and you'd be like <laughs> someone who like moves here from honduras and just like lives in a, a, an alcove where everybody speaks spanish so you never really learn it everyone would talk to you in english because they all speak English. assimilate come on <laughs> it's a beautiful language i'm well, trying to pick which peace. country i'd go to <laughs> i do the, is the normal too. choice they hate it <laughs> no you would you would yeah, that would be so funny. Bad. You moved to Norway and you don't speak any Norwegian, but you're like, oh, hello, gang. I want these <laughs> from <home> with me. <laughs> oh, no, I've been here. I just uh, left the airport. That's why my bag <laughs> in my hand. I've been here for 20 minutes. Kyle, Kyle Bjornsson. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle Bjornsson. <laughs> You'd be that oh, guy going to England like. part about snow? 
I think <laughs> how that guy is everywhere all the time. <laughs> I think Australia's high on the list of cool places. Yeah, Australia. I think. I think um, too many things Coast- that would kill you in Australia, bro. Honestly, like Costa Rica seems, We're from uh, America. seems like a really nice place. No, I'm, um, I'm talking like bugs yeah, and are. massive spiders. I'll hire an exterminator. You, you just you just um, stay away Murphy. from. Like, we play with the most this. dangerous game over here. Other people. Yeah, Australia is safe by comparison. But you're going to say AIDS. Hong Kong is <laughs> fucking <laughs> the most dangerous game. <laughs> Technically, that's other people. Yeah. That's so Hong- random. Jesus. Hong Lord. Kong looks fucking cool. South Korea looks looks amazing. Um, mm, like Japan. like Singapore. All that whole well, Japan. I told you they won't let me in. They're no, ideal or... world. Japan would be cool, but mm. you'd have to learn Japanese. They don't let you live in Japan unless Ooh. you're like committed to learning Japanese, adopting their. Which is what no. I'd want to do if I moved to you're Japan still, anyway. You're still treated like crap in like Kyoto and, and Japan. Like it's if you're a I'm foreigner, gonna... you're a foreigner forever. Like there's Japanese people who are born there who still can't get citizenship. Dude, I'm, I'm wearing my fucking back to back World War champions fucking. <laughs> I'm gonna be. It's gonna be like Mr. Baseball. You ever see that Tom Selleck movie, Mr. Baseball? Yeah. New York Giants oh, yeah. player gets traded to a Japanese team. He's incensed about it and has to integrate into Japanese culture. It's hilarious. Tom Selleck with his mustache, having to sit cross legged on the floor and shit. It's 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 you know yeah. fish out of water story. It's real funny. It's very. I would accurate. give a fuck. I'm not scintillating. <laughs> I'm gonna get tatted up and get on the woman's ca- card on the train. I don't care. You're gonna <laughs> oh, do geez. that. You're gonna no, get on the wouldn't do Groper's that. car. No. <laughs> you went in Rome. You got you got to respect the land. Uh, I'd, no, no, no. I'd be bowing at people. I'd be doing what, and I wouldn't be doing it in a condescending way. I'd be so. Wait, 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 wait. About me, I do. So a if you're saying when in Rome, do as the Romans do, you would start groping people on trains. No, I would. Stay, I guess I would stay to the right. men's train like a, like a decent <laughs> human being. Actually, I, I don't think. Uh, yeah, is yeah, it Kyle, Japan? you're not respecting and, the culture if you don't grope the women on the trains. I think that's kind of racist. Well, it's, in around. Japan, isn't it mandatory that you have your phone has to make a sound when it takes a picture? Korea, because so many guys were doing upskirt pictures and all that crap. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You cannot disable <laughs> the the kachunk sound on, on yeah. your camera phone. That's over pretty there. funny. That the whole funny. country is so horny. <laughs> that they're like, we need a technological way around this problem. <laughs> I mean, so they make a shutter. Do sign. they still do they still blur out their porn scenes and stuff? Like it, it's so weird. As far as I can tell, that's probably the I, law I, there. I think if it's produced there, maybe like 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 I, I don't quite understand the whole. Deal. I I've been told that the blurred genital law or rule or whatever it is is why you have so much tentacle porn. Because yeah. they don't have to blur. The they don't have to blur it out. Yeah, and it's just like, dude, look what they've done. Unintended look what you consequences. Did. They made yeah. it more pervy. <laughs> like, yeah, the the unintended They should have immediate. It should have been like prohibition when when all of a sudden they did. We did. We tried prohibition. We got Al Capone, organized crime, and people drinking poison to try to get drunk. Ah, looks like we made a mistake. Let's go back. Japan mm. never went back to cock and pe- and, and, and pussy. They just rode the tentacle shit out and we get what we get today You're preaching to the choir i'm 100 percent on board they need to go back to looking at regular dick and vagina and why women. is it always rape why does the girl never enjoy the tentacles and they're always like 15 oh no is it they're, they're always all, like look, young every, girls in these videos they, they always look underage and they don't like what's happening to them that is that speaks yeah. to the vast majority of japanese anime animated pornography how am i supposed it, to self-insert in that i have no tentacles I have no suction cups. I pretend I am. The You're t- the girl. I'm the girl. <laughs> I just imagine being pinned down by a strong ass, wide shouldered octopus. <laughs> Stephalopod. Take me. <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> just hairy ass. Yeah. You know, starfish hentai, have brains hentai in the whole their legs. world. What? what has starfish brains have brains in their legs? Mm-hmm. Not much yeah. of them. They don't do anything. If you like cut off their legs, uh, they, you don't kill the starfish. You just get more starfish. Does the leg become another starfish? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they grow out and become more starfish. Like, I don't know. It'd be like a good way to make friends. <laughs> Chop a leg off. <laughs> this guy's a dick. <laughs> I never should have bifurcated my legs and created more friends. Ever, what if they're like clones if they have their own type of senses and oh, memories and all that? Why did consider that, right? Like, you could do it if you murder someone, you cut your leg off, make a clone, claim it was him. You ever? Uh, I think it's the legless one, Your Honor, <laughs> because we know leg how our weird biology works. No, leg grows they back. got me. Now I'm fucking Oscar Pistorius. Yeah. Not only does shit. your leg grow back, the rest of him grows back. The whole, a whole another being. Yeah. To, to that work. giant cup is like 
42 ounces or something. Like it's like a gas station sized cup. I was there the other day with my dad just getting lunch, catching up, and I saw people getting it in that giant cup. And I'm like, man, they're getting to get so much done. I like that we live in an age of irresponsible food. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> just huge servings, things that are tremendous calor- you know, calories. Well, that's an, it, that's sugar, an American caffeine. thing, though. You know, like that's the that's the stereotype, right? Of yeah. Americans and yeah, big food it's not and, wrong. Uh, I, I had it's this really <laughs> team building event back when I had a Minecraft server and uh, the guy from Scotland came over and really wanted to experience the serving sizes of our drinks. They went out at like 1 a.m. one night, borrowed my car just to go to a gas station and buy gigantic drinks. Yeah. Yeah. Freedom. I never do that. <clears throat> like even when you cross the border from Canada to the States, Canada you to the here. States, it's it's you see it immediately. Right. Yeah. It's like it, oh, it's, yeah. The extra, the extra large is like bucket size when you go to McDonald's and stuff. And it's does Canada like, have wow. bitch size servings? Yeah, we do. Yeah, they just it's small, normal, healthy servings. I mean, paying for refills. I mean, you Ugh. say to me, yeah. <laughs> do, you really pay, do you pay for refills at at, at like an aver- at the average? Um, not really, because some oh, of the uh, pop machines or soda machines, depending what state you're in, they're on the outside. You fill up your own. So, mm-hmm. but it's not like, like if in you this, were like. I'm gonna say like an Outback or a, or an Applebee's, like hmm. like a chain style oh. restaurant. No, you pay. You, you you don't get. Well, it's hard to say. Some restaurants are free refills. Not many are. I'm not tipping if you start charging me for cokes. So <laughs> so yeah, it, it's it depends on where you are. You know, yeah, I'm so yeah, there I'm you so go. trained that refills for soda for soft drinks should be free. That I would be irate if I like because soda? when I go to like if I'm going to a steakhouse or something, I might drink seven diet cokes they give you those tiny little glasses with so much ice in it that you're like two sips and it's like oh well that's half of this one gone i better just finish it and let them reload me next time they get here and then you do that a few times i'd be you know four bucks a pop are you fucking kidding me fuck you this is communism <laughs> this, is, this is i guess it's pure capitalism but it's you know it <laughs> really i don't like it and things i don't like are communist so <laughs> i would not i think like so that. i i would imagine that they're cost Per ounce of soda is like zero, like 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 almost. Yeah, it's, it's borderline free. Yeah. yeah, it's borderline free. So the idea, it, it's it's almost like a wink and a nod, like, hey, we're charging you too much for this shitty food, but don't worry, we got your back with the sugar water. Mm-hmm. Thank you, I appreciate I what that. The cost of the drinks, like, so let's all agree that the seltzer water and sugar syrup is not very much. But yeah. what does it cost to like keep those machines cleaned and maintained and? I don't, I don't know what else there is involved. You think they clean those machines? <laughs> sure, it's rare. I thought they might. I don't no, know. They're, they're, I uh, it, McDonald's ones, they keep them pretty clean. Because they have like a stories about deal the ice with machines. Uh, Ooh, yeah, I have I heard, heard about ice. Mm-hmm. I never even considered that the ice might yeah. not be so clean. But I'll, I just scoop a bucket in a hotel like it's like no one peed in there. Yeah, like no one, like no one vomited in there three weeks ago as a prank or some some nonsense. Jesus.